So at 9 o'clock, Elon is going to talk. I'm just going to ask a couple of people what they think of their uh, new car and what the changes are. So I'm talking here to Chris and her husband had a uh, Tesla Model S, right? Yes. And what do you have now? I now have the Model X. The Model X. The signature version. Yes. And why did you take the Model X? Because he sold my Subaru. So I drive a Model X now. That's only fair. A Subaru for a Model X. What feature do you like the most about the Model X? The biohazard button. The biohazard button. Now, I don't have the Model X yet, but why is that so nice? Uh, because I have very bad allergies, so hay fever, dust, pretty much everything. I always have to drive with the windows up. But in this car, when the allergy season is bad, I push the biohazard button and I can breathe better than any other place. I take longer drive just because I can breathe better. Yeah. So sometimes in the house, when it's not nice in the house, you go to the car and put go. the biohazard button on? That's right. That's right. So it's a real feature that's useful. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You can really tell the difference. Okay. And other things about the Model X you like? Well, because it has such a great safety record, I always want the car that's the safest. Um, and I'm not a person who understands computers, so I was really relieved that it was so easy to drive, much easier than my Subaru. So yeah, yeah I'm happy. Yeah. The big screen is easier than oh, the little yeah. screen. And it has cute little icons that I understand. So yes, very good. What about the, uh, the Falcon doors? Do you use them a lot? No, because people want to ask me about the car and you know they stare, so I never open the Falcon doors when I'm out like shopping. I always use the hatch, yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, you have too much attention uh, <laughs> to you. That, no. Okay, and uh, does it drive also fast enough? Yeah, I'm not a fast driver, but if you need to move quickly to get out of the way, yeah, it's, it's good and fast. Biohazard, feature number one. So here we have an, uh, a couple, which is uh, two different brands. What do you drive? I drive the Model S. The Model S. Uh, how long already? Um, a year. Yeah. Over a year. Over a year. And what do you drive? I drive a BMW i3. Ah, isn't that a quarrel inside the marriage? What is the best car? No. <laughs> What's we the best car? The Model S. <laughs> yeah. It's not a quarrel. It's not really a fight because she just gets the best car. So. Uh -huh. <laughs> So in the weekend when you both need to go somewhere, you take the Model S. We take the Model S. Okay. What's your judgment on the Model on the on the i3? I love it. It's uh, I I use it to commute, uh, and it's it's a great car. You know, it's great for a little commuter, fits in tight spots, rather cheap compared to a Model S, and yeah. you know it drives wonderfully. Okay. So uh, do you, is there hope for BMW in the future? You think? I think so. I think so. I think they need to make it a little bit better looking. Maybe a little bit more range, but yeah, yeah, yeah you know, I think they're... So your, uh, I, your Tesla, does it have autopilot? It does not. It does not. Maybe we'll upgrade. <laughs> Isn't that a big miss, or uh, don't you miss it, or... Um I, I was a little nervous about it when we test drove the car. Yeah. It came out, like, what, three months after we got our car? Yeah. Yeah. So. And then you test it on our front Model X. Yeah. So, a happy marriage between BMW and uh, Tesla. No problem. What? Are you looking for your phone? Yeah, yeah, I'm always...